In this video I will show you how to achieve a silk textured skin with the frequency separation function. First of all I'm going to remove some blemishes and moles with the blemish removal tool. Ok, now I'm happy with that. Go on filter and select the frequency separation. In the preview we have a representation of what we'll see in the high frequency layer on the left and the low frequency layer on the right. Now adjust the radius, in order to put all the facts that will be retouched in the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer you will have to see just a shade of the textured skin that you want to achieve. When you are happy with that, click on apply. Now select the lower layer. Over the web, there are several tutorials, especially done for Photoshop that suggest you to select an area in the low frequencies and blur it, like the following. Select the freehand selection tool. Click on the Refine Selection button. Feather the selection until 50 or more, in order to have shaded edges, this will avoid to have differences between boundaries of the retouched areas. When you're done just memorize the value and click cancel. Write the value into the feather box and hit enter. Now click the blur filter and adjust the radius until you will achieve a good result. Do not set high values, so as not to make it unnatural. By zooming in you can verify that the skin has taken on a regular texture. Now undo and restart from the two layers and try my way. Deselect by hitting Ctrl or Command D. Keep the lower layer selected. Now click on the Live Filters icon. Hit the Gaussian Blur. Adjust the radius until flaws and stains will be unperceptible. Now invert the blur mask by hitting Ctrl or Command plus I. Take the brush tool. Make sure you have the white color selected, bring the hardness to zero, 
enlarge the brush adjust the opacity in order to make smoothly visible the blurred area. Select a light round brush. Avoid to blur the eyes, the mouth, the hair, and the nostrils. There are a couple of eyelashes to remove. Use the blemish removal tool and apply in the high frequencies.
before and after. Now uncheck for a while the blur mask and apply a live unsharp mask all above the layers. Invert the mask by hitting Ctrl or Command I. Now paint with a white light brush over the eyes, mouth, hair, and nostrils. Dodge the teeth and the eyes, in order to give a more inspiring gaze, do this on the low frequencies. Activate the blur mask. Use the healing brush tool to get a more uniform texture. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching.